Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial involving calculations for probability theory using set theory. So there are some terms which you need to know under this top tutorial. One is sample space. This is a set of all possible outcomes of an experiment and is usually denoted by capital S. Then sample point refers to the individual outcome in the sample space. For example, when a coin is tossed once, the sample space S is denoted by head or tail. Head and tail. Where H denote, represents a head turning uppermost and tail, T represents a tail turning uppermost. In this case, H and T are the sample points. Then you also need to know the definition for an event. So an event is a subset of a sample space. This set of all points not belong the set of all points not belonging to E is called the complement of set E and is noted by E prime meaning E complement. The probability of an event is defined as the extent to which an event is likely to occur. Therefore probability of event E is given by PE to, to denote probability of an event equal to NE, which denotes the number of sample space in the event space, and NS to denote the number of sample points in the sample space. So under probability theory, there is a relationship between probability theory and set theory. So consider two events A and B represented on a Venn diagram as shown below. So this is probability of A, this is probability of B. So under probability of A, we have probability of A intersection B complement and probability of A intersection B. Under probability of B, we have probability of A complement intersection B and probability of A intersection B. Then outside, we have probability of A complement intersection B complement. And all these ones added up, they add up to the total probability which is equal to 1. So there are some identities which we can get from that Venn diagram. So identity 1 is on this probability of A. One should realize that probability of A will be equal to probability of A intersection B plus probability of A intersection B complement. So that is the first line. Second line is for A complement. A complement is this one, that. So probability of A complement will be equal to probability of A complement intersection B plus probability of A complement intersection B complement. Then A complement plus probability of A, com A prime, so the probability of A plus probability of A prime, which is A complement, it will be equal to 1. That is the first identity. The second identi identity is on PB. So probability of B will be equal to probability of A intersection B plus probability of A complement intersection B. And on the other hand, probability of B complement, which is this, will be equal to probability of A intersection B complement plus probability of A complement intersection B complement. So that will be identity 2, as you see it here. Probability of B, probability of B complement. And probability of B plus probability of B complement will be equal to 1. The third identity is on the union. So A union B gives is this plus that plus that. So in other words, it can be probability of A plus probability of A complement intersection B. As we have seen it here, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of A complement intersection B. But you already know from this, from that, that probability of A complement intersection B will be given by that, which is here. So it will be equal to probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So you come and substitute that here. So probability of A complement intersection B will be substituted with probability of B minus probability of N intersection B. When we substitute it here, we shall be able to come up with an, an equation with A union B equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So this is the expression for A union B. Similarly, 
if it is A union B complement, what you need to do is to be A plus B minus intersection B. Sorry, A plus B complement minus A intersection B complement. If it, if it is A which is a complement, so you also put a complement on A. If both of them have complements, you put complements on all of them. So that is the union. Then for De Morgan's law, it states that probability of A complement intersection B complement is equal to probability of A union B outside to B complement. So then you can see that when this prime goes out, even the sign changes. When they are inside, the sign was intersection. When it has gone out, the sign changes to union. And know that this one will be given by 1 minus A union B. Similarly, probability of A complement union B complement will be equal to probability of A intersection B, everything a complement. So you can see that when this complement moves out, the sign also changes. It was union, now it is intersection. And this one, you all know that it's the same as 1 minus A intersection B. So, De Morgan's law can also be explained using set theory. For example, if I have two co events A and B, and I want to shade probability of A complement to be in this form, so A, co A is non shaded, but the complement will be shaded. So, this is the shading for A complement. Shading for B complement means B is not touched, but the rest will be required. Now, when I add both of them, A complement and B complement, when I add both shadings, I'll be able to come up with this. So this is for A, this is for B complement alone, and this is for A complement alone, and this one is for both A complement and B complement. So intersection means what is common is what is shade is what is required. So from there, it should mean that A complement intersection B complement. It will be this one alone because it is the one which is common for both. Then for union means wherever there is a shading is required. So in this case, as you can see, it's only the intersection which is not shaded. So this only the intersection will not be shaded, but the rest will be required. That's why we say A complement union B complement is equal to A intersection B complement. So we shall use that to come up with a solution to the following problems. So even A and B are such that probability of A, so this is the probability of A, is equal to 19 over 3 over 30. Probability of B is equal to 2 over 5. And probability of A union B equal to 4 over 5. Fine, Roman 1. A intersection B, Roman 2. Probability of A intersection B complement, Roman 3. Probability of A complement intersection B, Roman 4. Probability of A complement, intersection B complement, and Roman 5. Probability of A complement, union B complement. So we shall use the set theory. We already know that probability of A is 19 over 30. Then probability of B is 2 over 5. So now let X be the intersection, A intersection, B, B, X. Now since this is 19 over 30, for this A alone it will be 19 over 30 minus x. Then for b alone to be 2 over 5 minus x. Then y will be the a complement intersection b complement. The total probability is equal to 1. So that will be our Venn diagram. So part a, they wanted the a intersection b. We know that a union b is equal to 4 over 5. So a union b will be equal to 19 over 30 minus x plus x plus 2 over 5 minus x, which is that, and to be equated to 4 over 5, which is A union B. So when you solve it and you get x, it will be 7 over 30, implying that our A intersection B is 7 over 30. For Roman, B, Roman 2, they wanted a probability of A intersection B complement. So A intersection B complement is this, in other words, for A alone, which is 19 over 30 minus x. So come here. 19 over 30 minus x, substitute your value for x, which is here, and you'll come up with 2 over 5 as your answer. Then Roman 3, they wanted A complement intersection B. A complement intersection B is the same as B alone, which is 2 over 5 minus x. So come here, 2 over 5 minus x, substitute for x, which is 7 over 30, you come up with 1 over 6, which will be your answer. 
Then Roman 4, they wanted A complement intersection B complement, which is the value of Y. So here what we shall do, get the whole of this union, which is 4 over 5, plus Y will be equal to the total probability, which is 1. So come here and say 4 over 5 plus Y equal to 1. So make Y the subject, you come up with 1 over 5. And that will be your answer for A complement intersection B complement. Then lastly, they wanted A complement union B complement. A complement union B complement, it will be now 1. The, it's all, everything is needed apart from the intersection. So the easiest way is to say 1 minus this intersection, which is X. So A complement union B complement will be equal to 1 minus X, which will be 1 minus 7 over 30 to give you 23 over 30. So that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and, and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.